uh, all of us are uh, a great developer. Perhaps that uh, these are testing times for us, right from uh, uh, the demonetization, followed by the Balta, Jagalita, and Jalikarti, and so on. These are testing times for us. Uh, in, in practice, also, I found that uh, earlier, if you make a diagnosis, and stick to it and you make a clinical diagnosis, it's all right. But I mean, with the amount of sophistication we are doing, we keep on investigating, but uh, at the end of it, sometimes we are still groping in the dark for diagnosis. This case is uh, primarily presented to show that, uh, I mean, there was a discussion in the, on formal day whether money is important or health is important. And um, to me, money seems important right now because we can't have health without money. That's what we're coming to nowadays. Because uh, each test, and for an average uh, who is a resource uh, handicapped or resource, not much resource, becomes difficult because all the investigations we do are costly. And unless we have a diagnosis, we cannot give a treatment. And um, uh, the idea of presentation of this small case is uh, to sort of um, have um, your opinion to see how best this case can be managed. Next. This is, uh, oh, go, go back. This is a, a lady of about 62 who came with uneasiness in the left upper chest, mild cough, no phlegm, no fever, no past history of cough or hospitalization. Not a known diabetic or hypertensive, no loss of pain, appetite normal. In this case, somebody comes to my OP, I would do that. Some sort of my bronchitis would be there. So, all of one one week duration. So normally, I think uh, uh, all of us may be tempted to give a diagnosis of some sort of uh, lower respiratory infection and uh, give a treatment. The temperature was 99, normal density, no clubbing, no adenopathy, heart sounds normal, a few adventitious sounds in the left lung, infraclavicular region, abdomen and neurological systems are normal. One week duration of history, no loss of weight, no other symptoms, uh, no past history of hospitalization, our diagnosis may be a lower respiratory infection, or uh, give antibiotics, next. And treated with the antibiotics, but the patient returns after five days. And then I am ready to do some investigation. The ESR was only 10, hemoglobin was 7.5, total count was 9,600, and bicumin profile was normal, ECG was normal because of the left side of the chest. I said I shouldn't miss up with any other cardiac problem as well. So this was everything. Then we take an X ray of the chest. X, X. This is the X ray of the chest. And uh, as you can see on the left side of the uh, left side of the lung, sort of a hazy appearance on the left side of the chest. This is the impression given by the radiologist. A round, rounded ground glass opacity noted in the left perihilar region. The lesion shows a crescentic lucency at the periphery, and he raised it out of a fungal lesion and next step is to go for a CT and he also mentioned that the regular opacities were noted in both lungs then he said to rule out tuberculosis, fungus, tuberculosis and of course I had to unfolded the age factor and so on. So with the digital x-ray taken, this was a diagnosis, patient coming with only one week of fever and so on. Uh, fever, not low grade fever, cough. Next. We go ahead and do a CT. Next. And uh, the CT in turn shows a irregular heterogeneous enhancing soft tissue density with speculative margin and necrosis in the left upper lobe extending to the hilum. There it turns out is it a malignant lesion. So for infection, fungus, Tuberculosis, malignancy. And there is an upper cut of the, of the upper lobe and lingular segment with the post uh, obstructive sub collapse of upper lobe. 
the Dei Bhushan Rabbas left on the Yaki, small round of the addition in the superior segment of the right lower lobe, and um, enlarged non macrotic, non calcified radius in the nodes. And, uh, then we are left with the uh, confusion. We ask for the patient to take an X ray, we land up with something, then we go and do a CT, we land up with something more, and uh, uh, I mean, the, power, the patient is getting frustrated also. No diagnosis. I keep saying the next thing will be we'll get a diagnosis about do a bronchoscopy. The next thing was to do a bronchoscopy and see, and uh, the bronchoscopy turned out to be another um, blind drag. It didn't help us. The smears shows endobronchial columnar cells, macrophage density. Density uh, of neutrophils with eosinophils, negative for malignancy. That is one good news, perhaps. Next. Then uh, the bronchial alveolar lavage fluid also shows occasional gram positive cocci and pairs. And uh, they couldn't really get any tissue out of it on the bronchoscopy. What I was looking for, they'll be able to take a biopsy. They couldn't take a biopsy of that. Next. And uh, no further lesions detected. And the uh, AFD, yeah, of course, acid first business is not seen on the fluid, but uh, they are sent it for further tests and so on. So, at uh, each test, I used to say we'll have some diagnosis, we'll have some treatment, but the next port of appeal seemed to be either to do a CT guided biopsy or a PET scan. These are the two things which we I had. The patient says, I can't afford any further. <laughs> this is where it is. So, many a time we have this problem where the patient can afford. Well and good. So, uh, when the patient cannot afford, I am neither able to go forward nor backward. So, I present this care only to see the difficulty we face. Without a histopathological diagnosis, I can't offer a treatment. I can't say, okay, this looking like tuberculosis or looking like infection and so on. So, I would like the audience to sort of throw right over this. They would like to manage this case. Case is open for discussion. Uh, this is a testing time for patients as well as doctors without a first time. Uh, if we gave first week, we gave antibiotics. Was it giving any No, the patient came back. No, so these are three, four things which we I mean we know the diagnosis, these are the possibilities, but how much to and I asked a person who does the um, scan, uh, a PET scan. What about cultures sensitivity of bronchial lavas? Bronchial lavage, as you shown, there is nothing. Was done. And the point is, every time we go thinking we'll be able to make a diagnosis on this particular. The PET scan, I asked him, how sure you'll be? Because again, PET scan is only a radiological diagnosis. It doesn't give a tissue diagnosis. Based on that, I cannot say you've got a mal I mean, you may think of a malignancy or not, but you are not sure. And I asked the CT guided biopsy, how sure they will be, they will hit the right spot. That also they are not sure. So where do you go? PCR. Sir. PCR. We have sent the things sir, for bronchial alveolar for this test. Also. Have you repeated the X-ray after subsequently? No, the patient didn't come to me after that. Doctor, <laughs> <laughs> uh, major, major, master. Certificate of appreciation. Thank you, sir. I did for that. One second, one second. Wait, so